Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Canary Channel, build 26063. And this rolled out on the 22nd, which was late yesterday in my part of the world. Now, something to take note of is that Windows Insiders in the Dev Channel will not receive this build. Microsoft says instead they are releasing servicing updates to Insiders in the Dev Channel to test uh, the servicing pipeline for Windows 11 version 24H2 because in effect the Canary and Dev Channel, as I have been talking about, these are features we could expect to see rolled out in this year's annual feature update version 24H2. So what's new in build 26063? Well, the key highlight is that um, it now includes Wi-Fi 7, which is basically the next um, technology when it comes to Wi-Fi. Now, um, Microsoft says from the release notes that um, Windows is adding support for Wi-Fi 7 for consumer access points with the current insider preview builds in the Canary and Dev channel. So this means that 24H2, there's a very good chance that um, if you have the relevant hardware, you'll be able to use Wi-Fi 7. Wi-Fi 7, as many of you may know, is also known as REEE 802.11BE. And uh, Microsoft also mentions that it builds on the innovations of Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E, and they say should give you unprecedented speed, reliability, and efficiency for wireless devices. So basically, it's the next technology when it comes to Wi-Fi. Now, some of the highlights that Microsoft talks about um, with the Wi-Fi 7 new features, there are three, and the first of three is um, it has multi-link operation, which allows devices to use multiple bands simultaneously to avoid network congestion and maintain connectivity. The second highlight is that 320 megahertz ultra-wide bandwidth in 6 gigahertz doubles the speed to your devices and enables new possibilities for high bandwidth applications and scenarios using such as AR and or VR. And the third key highlight is that 4096 QAM modulation increases the data transmission by 20% and improves the quality of video streaming, video conferencing and more. So basically this is bringing a lot of speed improvements and should benefit when it comes to obviously video streaming, video conferencing and a whole lot more. They also carry on to say that Wi-Fi 7, with Wi-Fi 7 you can enjoy multi gigabyte speeds on your Windows PC and experience up to 4x faster speeds than Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E, and close to 6x faster than Wi-Fi 5. Microsoft also says um, that you can also enjoy significantly lower latency, which improves the responsiveness and performance of real-time activities like gaming and video conferencing. Just take note, though, that they say the performance may vary by manufacturer and hardware device capabilities. And as mentioned, um, you need the relevant hardware. So to take advantage of Wi-Fi 7, you will need Wi-Fi 7 capable consumer access point and PC with many of the ecosystem partners which have already launched on the market. So if you don't have this, obviously, you'd have to get hold of the latest hardware to get access to the Wi-Fi 7 improvements, which will be rolling out with Windows 11 version 24H2. Now, as I mentioned uh, in a previous video, there are changes and improvements that are coming to Copilot, where you can now ask Copilot in Windows to do 16 new actions, adding to the 13 that the Copilot already has when it comes to different capabilities in Windows. And I'll leave that video down below because um, it will give you a lot more information. I posted a whole video that Windows 11 24H2 will include 16 new functions for Copilot AR, and that will be in the description box. And over and above that, um, they've also made improvements with Power Automate Desktop, where Microsoft says you can also automate tasks. And this uh, began rolling out, uh, they began rolling out these improvements uh, for Copilot in Windows to insiders in the Canary channel earlier this week. So go check that video out. That will be down in the description where we just dive a little bit more into detail. And then over and above that, um, there are fixes for known issues because this is early days in the Canary channel. And there's also a good couple of new known issues because once again, it's early days and this is a very unstable um, channel. So obviously, um, there are um, new known issues that basically come to light every week. So that's it. That's what's new in build 26063, Wi-Fi 7 being the key highlight. And that's the latest build for the Canary channel, which in effect 
Canary and Dev are possibly going to be features we see with version 24H2 rolling out as the annual feature update in the latter half of this year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.